Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we're going to be checking out RPG Maker Unite. Now this was released a couple of months back for the Unity game engine and I decided to give it until the first patch uh, before I would go ahead and review it because quite honestly, out of the box there was uh, there were some issues and sometimes you just need day one patch that took like two months to get here uh, and uh, yeah, I decided I would go ahead and wait for it. What I'm going to do in this video is help you decide if you should consider buying RPG Maker Unite and uh, spoiler alert, the answer is probably no, but let's stick with it and figure out exactly why. So first off, uh, a little bit of backstory about RPG Maker Unite. Basically, this is the seminal RPG Maker. There's been like 30 of these things. Um, MX, MV, etc. There's a ton of them out there. There's RPG Maker XP, RPG Maker 2000, and so on. Uh, it is a series of game engines for creating JRPG-style games. And what they did with Unite is basically built it into the Unity game engine. Now, this actually has a number of advantages to it. Uh, specifically, you can now use the C-sharp programming language. You can support all of the platforms that Unity gets. Uh, so that's definitely a nice thing. So we're going to go ahead, jump in, and take a look at this guy. By the way, if you are using Unity, uh, it is for the built-in pipe line only. All right, so let's jump into RPG Maker Unite. Now here it is. Now when you install this guy, it actually installs just normal asset store. Then it switches you into RPG Maker Unite mode inside of Unity. That's what this is right here. Basically, it is a reskinned version of Unity completely. All of the Unity normal stuff is gone, uh, and you've got this focused mode. And I can tell you every single thing you need to know about this guy with this one toolbar. So this will probably tell you if you're willing to put up with RPG Maker Unite or not. So here we got this toolbar right here. And by the way, this is what it looks like by default. So this window here is just to show this toolbar here. So this here, yeah, it's, there's no excuse for that. There's literally no reason why that is the way it is, but that is the way it came out of the box. And in the months since, they haven't fixed that. So this is a toolbar uh, that comes with the mode. Now, the question is, what do these toolbar buttons do? Well, normally what you would do is highlight over something and you would get a tooltip. Yeah, no tool tools. Uh, so you're on your own there. So then what you next logical want to do is maybe get some help. That makes sense. And I can figure out which one help is. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Let's go ahead and click help. And we got the idea behind the version info, which is basically what version this is, or the help. And here is problem numero two. Uh, yeah, uh, there's your help. Um, if you are like me and don't speak a single or read a single line of Japanese, uh, that help isn't very useful to you. So, uh, yeah, there's definitely an issue there. Uh, so that's not great. Now the next part is, uh, okay, well, what does this button do or this button? This looks like some kind of a launch button, right? And then this one I, I, I'm guessing is play. So I could go ahead and play my game because there's standard unity UI is missing now, right? That's just sort of the way it works. Well, let's go ahead and click this button right here. Uh, okay, well, just so you know, uh, don't click that button. That button means exit. Why is there an exit button in the toolbar? I have no idea. Now, the next reason why I'm actually a little afraid about RPG Maker Unite is we actually have their roadmap. So this is the things that they intend to fix and the schedule in which they look to fix these things. Now, taking an exit button out of a toolbar that should never have been there in the first place, that kind of seems like one of those things that you could do you in a hot patch, you know, the next day. Uh, well, it is actually here. So it is scheduled for September. This thing launched in like May. Uh, so June, July, August, September, four months. It's going to take four months to remove a button from a toolbar. So you get an idea of the development pace that they are looking at here. This is going to take a very long time to come into form if there's anyone working on it at all. So this is the part that's got me scared. There's a lot of um, initial interesting things in this release. It's just from the looks of how slowly they're going to be fixing things here. Like these are just fixes. Make undo and redo work more. That's going to be next year. That That's... That's just not acceptable. All right, so let me go ahead and fire it back up. And as you see from how it's loading, this is a typical Unity project. It is loading up as per Unity speed. So, you know, you've got the same... Um, it, all of the traits and aspects of Unity are applied here. Uh, RPG Maker Unite, by the way, is $99. But don't forget, you're now going to be encumbered from all of the licensing requirements of Unity as well. So you're going to have to pay for your Unity seats on top of that. So it definitely makes it more expensive than previous versions of RPG Maker have been in the past. And uh, yeah, again, you got typical Unity loading issues here as well. All right, so here we are again. And as I said, I wasn't, I wasn't uh, exaggerating here to say that this... This is actually the default. This is how things ship. This is all of the space just for this particular menu, this menu that has no tooltips at all. By the way, there's no tooltips for 
anything. So if you're trying to intuit what you're doing here, if you're coming from an RPG maker background, you're probably good to go. But if you're trying to figure out how these things work, good luck. Now kind of, I'm going to compliment RPG Maker for a little while. They did do a good job of moving all of the various different systems of RPG Maker into Unity. This is basically a full-blown version of RPG Maker, all of the stuff that you would use, so the things for handling uh, UI and characters and creating items in the world and inventory and all of that stuff, they are all in here. You've got various different special effects available here. They're all been ported over here uh, using kind of a Unity interface as opposed to the typical RPG Maker interface. So all all of the database editing stuff, it is all in here, which is quite nice. On top of that, there is also this um, map editor that is built in here. So if you've got a, let's go ahead and open up a sample map. So here, if you've got RPG maps, you can actually do full map editing here, which is quite nice. So you're getting the full editing support. Uh, you get tile maps, uh, you get tile map editor and that kind of stuff all in here as well. So your typical RPG maker experience is there. Another thing that's new is this new scene outlier, which kind of shows you how we go from thing to thing to thing using this uh, flow graph style uh, approach. So you can trigger in between things. This is new. This is nice. Uh, so it also is going to require a fairly linear story uh, for it to work well without getting to become a mess. But this, the outline is new functionality. Previous RPG makers did not have that. On top of that, you're also obviously going to get the benefits of using Unity. That means the entire Unity asset store is available to you. Your um, C-sharp programming language is available to you. Although how you actually go about using it, that is another challenge because quite frankly, there is no documentation. So good luck with that. Uh, you do get a sample. The sample is this guy. Again, don't press this button, press this one. But there is a full-blown sample in here. Uh, this is pretty much, whoa, very loud. All right, let's, let's, let's turn that down a little bit. All right, so this is your built-in sample. Kind of walks you through how to go about playing the game. If, if you've never seen an RPG Maker style game, you know, there are your uh, typical, this, is what you're getting. And then you got different world zones. You can move in between maps. And yeah, so you get this pretty comprehensive uh, game that comes with it with all the various different assets that are there. That part about RPG Maker is always nice. It should work with all of your RPG Maker stuff as well. And they've also scaled up the resolution. So this is the first time that RPG Maker has been HD, which is also a nice aspect for sure. So um, yeah, the, the learning materials are good. There's quite a bit in here. I think I just bump into people to talk. No, I think I need an action key. I don't know what the action key is, though, so I'm just going to stop this now. Uh, you do have your inventory systems and so on. Everything is here. It's decent in that regard. Uh, and now I'm going to go ahead and stop playing it. Now, the question you may have on your mind is, okay, you're in this RPG maker-ish side of things. What if I want to use Unity stuff? Well, you're going to come up here. You're going to go to Window. You're going to go over here to RPG Maker, and you're going to notice you've got a mode switch. And then mode switch enables you to go this. So this is RPG Maker focused mode. This is where things are going to start off uh, initially. Uh, you can switch out to like a hybrid, which is probably where most of you are going to want to be. And basically at this point in time, especially if you've got a multi-monitor setup, your RPG Maker ish content. Everything we've been looking at so far is basically this floating window that you can then dock. Now, of course, this is still a Unity application. You can see switching between modes is not flawlessly fast, but you see more or less the entirety of what we just saw once it's done loading here. But this window right here, this is all of the RPG Maker stuff. And uh, keep loading, guys. Uh, again, switching between modes is not fast. Uh, so you can actually come over here. You can you can move this around. You could dock it into the scene if you wish. And then basically, it's uh, so unfortunately the the menu is actually free floating. So that's not what I want either. But you can take any one of these windows and you can dock it into traditional um, Unity. At least I think you can. Can I only really dock into myself? All right. So that's even another mess. So it, it's. It's sloppy. It, it, no matter how you look at it, it's pretty sloppy. So you've got this hybrid mode, and then you've got this other mode over here, which is basically just straight out uh, Unreal Engine, normal Unreal Engine, uh, and then you've got access to the project files and so on. Yeah, I, I'm. I, this is flabbergasting, to be honest. I don't know. I have now got two copies of the menu somehow, uh, and I can't dock anywhere. And uh, yeah, now my menu's floating up here. Okay, good job. And I can't dock my menu into. Oh, oh, there it goes. All right, I got it. Oh. Oh, they're docking now. So you can dock each one. Uh, I think you got to undock it. 
and then bring it over and nope, it's not yet. So as you can see, it is not the most smooth experience there. Uh, I'm not going to really get into too much of what the RPG Maker aspects of this in here are, because if you're interested in RPG Maker, what I have to tell you is basically pick up one of the other versions of RPG Maker. Uh, this one needs a lot of more time in the oven. Uh, again, there are some cool things in here. It does give you full HD support has been added here. There's the new outline editor and switch lines. Uh, so you got a top-down visualization of your project management. Uh, you got other systems in place. And of course, you do have access to all the underlying Unity, the Unity platforms you can build for. Um, so it gives you mobile, gives you consoles potentially and all that stuff, which is definitely a big step forward. Uh, but as you saw from working with it, it is an absolute and utter mess. And so I got to say, there's really, if I can find my menu again, I think it's right here. The one button that you care about, the only thing that you need is this guy right here. Go ahead and click exit and you're done. Uh, so that, ladies and gentlemen, is RPG Maker Unite. Do I recommend it? Good God, no. I love the idea behind it. RPG Maker Unite, uh, basically taking the best of RPG Maker and the best of Unity and then making a better product out of it. I'm all over that. But what they kind of did is they sort of took the worst of both uh, and the lack of documentation, the lack of tool tips, the lack of polish. It's just all pretty damning, to be honest. I don't know that they can fix this one. Uh, and as you can see from the reviews, it's not overwhelmingly uh, popular here. By the way, if you do want to buy it after this review for some reason, uh, if you use my affiliate link, I get a small commission and thank you very much. I got a feeling not too many of you are going to be too interested in that. But hey, I try to be honest on this channel. Sometimes, uh, you know, not everything is a home run. And RPG Maker, uh, I don't even think that I would call this one a bunt. It's just... Uh, it's a swing and a miss. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. RPG Maker Unite, should you buy it? No, not really. Uh, maybe eventually. Again, the idea is really sound. The execution is complete and utter crap. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.